Hey guys, how you doing and welcome back to Medieval Kingdoms Total War 1212 AD. Yes, it's been a while but I thought it's about time I return to this mod and we'll get some variation back to the channel as it has been obviously over the last month Warhammer related. So going forward you will start to see a nice mixture of Total War videos coming your way and what better way to begin that than with this fantastic 4v4 pitch battle between the forces of Sweden and Hungary on one side and Lithuania, Poland and France on the other. An interesting mix of nations but this will be an epic clash of nations so get ready ladies and gentlemen this is going to be a great battle and of course if you've got any 1212 AD battle replays you want me to check out then please email them over to my email address which can be found as always in the description but remember for the replay to work you must not move any units before you click start battle as the replay will crash now usually I would go through the army comps but with there being so many units in this battle today it will take me an age to go through them so I'll take a look as much as I can as the battle progresses and hopefully you guys will do the same but forgive me as this is pretty chaotic which in some ways adds to the flavor of it all but anyway without further ado let's get into it all right then guys here we go things are boiling up and the battle is about to begin the chess pieces are moved and so now everyone is in place for this almighty clash of nations and speaking of nations or slightly wrong actually just on the introduction there about which nations are fighting which. So we actually, we've got Lithuania, we've got uh, Hungary, France, and then Poland on one side, and then they are facing off against another army of Hungary, two Swedish armies, and Poland as well again. So you may be thinking, well, hang on, Poland versus Poland, Hungary versus Hungary. Do not be alarmed, there's always a backstory with these total war battles. Internal conflicts, ladies and gentlemen. Things have reached a boiling point where they cannot go back. The only way this can be answered is by the sword. So these countries have fought internally and have now reached this point on the battlefield. So yes, do not be alarmed. The uh, justice will come with this battle today. <laughs> so let's zoom in. Let's see how it plays out. So I'm playing, or I'm playing, I'm viewing it, I should say, from the replay perspective of Lithuania so thank you very much for the gentleman who sent this in this is a subscriber only battle so as I said to you at the beginning any replays you guys want to send over to me of 1212 uh, AD will be very welcome indeed so do get them sent over to my email address in the description of this video and all my other videos as well so here we go so armored infantry I'm pushing forward now they're gonna try and put a lot of pressure on the provide spearmen over here very good, very defensive units. Armored infantry though would have a slight advantage, I would imagine, with them having this, you know, the sword against the spear. I would think they may come off there, and obviously with them being armored, what we'll find out in a second. Let's zoom into the clash as they converge on them. We've got oh, a lot of cavalry going off over there. I'll go over there in a second. Here we go. This is a very. <laughs> That was a very delicate charge, wasn't it? Oh, it's like very genteel, wasn't it, that one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. That wasn't as aggressive as I thought it could be. Anyway, over here, we've got a lot of clashes kicking off of uh, cavalry on cavalry. But the way this could actually come out, the victory of this sort of scenario, this, this skirmish, will be with who can effectively use their infantry better. Because, obviously, the infantry can support very very well in these sort of scenarios because a lot of these are shock cavalry they do not they do not want to be bogged down in melee they want to be doing their cycle charges getting effective kills off you know pulling back going in front of the charge they don't want to be bogged down like this so these infantry units will help sway the balance either way out of I would imagine especially with the Polish they've got some very very strong cavalry so I would think the Polish will have the advantage on this right flank and if they do win that uh, engagement on the right, I would then feel the battle could sway towards them because they would instantly put pressure straight across 
on the other units of the you know the Hungarians and the Polish and the French because they could come straight onto their right flank and start to push ever so you know slowly across the field and make or give these other armies a lot of problems but we don't know the Lithuanians could come through we don't know yet we do not know so over in the center uh, conflicts are starting to emerge we've got the Swedish engaging with the Hungarians here here we go the herdmen advancing slowly forward it's another, again another veil genteel way of coming together Hopefully we'll get some more decent charging in a second. The house cars coming here. They, uh, sorry, don't no, apologise. These are the military men at arms. The herdmen and the... Where are they, actual house cars? I know they're somewhere. I've seen them. I've seen them. I tell you, I've seen them. They're somewhere. I know they are somewhere, but we'll see them in a minute anyway. So it's more the herdmen and the military men at arms at the moment. They're engaging with a lot of the Hungarian sergeants. Again, very important, whoever wins this area, the battlefield, the centre, could, could sway the balance either way here. It's all about finding a gap, because obviously you can imagine 4v4, it's going to be a massive, chaotic clash. It should have tried, it's just trying to find a gap, trying to find a way through. Oh, look at this charge here from the Swedish Knights into the back of those sergeants. They had the back turned to them. That would not have been good. That would not have been good. But then a counter charge by the Spear Militia. Interesting stuff. I think the Swedish Knights will probably want to try and get out of there soon. It's caused the sergeants to waver though. But this is absolutely chaotic. And I would have it no other way. I mean, you know, medieval battles like this would be absolute chaos. People wouldn't know who they're fighting. You know, that they could have the shoulders against an enemy. Or they could have a shoulder against an ally. You know, it's just that mad. It's that crazy these sort of battles are so I love them like this on Total War it represents it beautifully and yeah you can see that being the case here men shoulder to shoulder sword to sword over here we've got the Swedish Knights engaging with the spear sergeants that's not going to be good for the cavalry they have got the house cars here they are these are the house cars supporting very important you get your infantry in there but still the cavalry will not do well if they are bogged down in that engagement. Over here, still things are sort of brewing up. We've got the more the French, we've got the Polish over here. Where are the Polish? There they are, the Polish over here with the Hungarians. We've got a lot of units still back, still sort of getting together, forming up. And over here, it does look like the Polish are starting to make a little bit of headway against the Lithuanians. This, I feel, would be a very, very key moment here. If these guys win, it's I think it's curtains for the French and the Poles and the Hungarians then. Lithuania, you've got a big weight on the shoulders here. Big weight on this battle. We've got armoured infantry versus the spearmen. It looks like, because... The line is broken. A lot of the provide spearmen have actually come through. The armoured infantry there, they're, they're, they're crumbling. Rear charges combined with the Swedish there of the cavalry done very, very effective. However, though, look at that. Who is this? Who has gone down? Oh, it's the Polish general has gone. The Lithuanians have got some, some advantage there, at least. They can take that away with them, if any of them survive the battle, that is. But they've taken a little early scalp against the Polish there. But it's still the numbers are very much in the Poles' favour. And these charges against these armoured spearmen are going to be quite effective. Even though the spearmen will probably hold them back eventually, the cycle charges will pay off. And of course, the armoured, sorry, the archer sergeants, I should say, they've been supporting this very, very well indeed. They've got quite a few kills, 50, 40, sort of around about that figure. So that has helped, that's obviously helped massively. So yeah, it looking now like the Lithuanians are in severe trouble and that will then trickle down now to the French, etc. on this far sort of left and center area of the battlefield. Oh, hang on, I can hear handgunners, where are they? I can hear them, I can't bloody see them though. They're somewhere. Look at this, look at this! This is a Swedish general. He's going to get a, try and get a rear charge off essentially over here. Men are 
Here come the Pataviers coming across now, keeping their formation in, in check. Oh, this is absolute madness. Pockets of little clashes are erupting across the battlefield. Here comes the French. Oh, no, no, sorry, it's the Polish king. He's trying to counter the uh, the, the Hungarians there, by looks of things. Try to pick off at the uh, Hungarian general, but he's managed to flee the field. They're giving chase, though. They're not letting them get away without a, 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 a good charge off. But they realise it's probably not going to be a wise thing to do and pull back. Trying to get some rear charges around the back over here. Look at this. Look at this clump of cavalry. And we've got halberdiers. We've got spearmen. Oh no. General's falling in the Allies ranks. It's, is that the French? I think that could have been the French. General's gone now. The French king has fallen. Unless he's... No, no, no. He's over here. It must have been then. It must have been, yeah, the, the uh, Hungarian... General's gone. And now the Swedish are trying to push forward. Trying to drive the what remains of the Hungarians away from the field. The French, yeah, the Allies have gone. That is it for the Lithuanians. They have been completely destroyed now. And now it gives free reign for the Polish to descend down the field. And, oh dear, dear, the French are in serious trouble. On this right hand side, the Polish as well. They're trying to hold the Hungarians back on the left. But still, it looks like they're not having a good time of it either. And, oh, that was in fact, that was the last unit of the Lithuanians. They've gone now. The general's fallen. He was trying to flee the field, but it was too late. He was taken down before he could get away. And he died in battle. He was a coward fleeing the field, but he still died on the field with his own men. And now we're finding out that uh, we're going to try and see now how much resolve the Hungarians and the French and the Polish have got. These charges from the Polish though and the Swedish Knights have been very, very effective as you can see. Breaking down units bit by bit. The King must be looking on. Frightened to death. By what's happening here. There he is. There is the man himself. He must be frightened to death by the sight that's now emerging on this battlefield. Not good at all. The bands are starting to creep towards the enemy now. When I say the enemy, I'm looking at it from two perspectives. I'm talking obviously from the Lithuanian's perspective. So it is the enemy for them. And yeah, it is starting to creep ever closer to victory for them. Down the line here, we've got footmen at arms engaging with sergeants. This is a, quite a sight to see as we zoom in on the action. Steel plate armour clashing together. What an absolute bloodbath this is turning out to be. There's handgunners over there. I can see the puffs of smoke. There they are. There they are. They're firing point blank into the enemy here. Surely they're trying to take down the enemy but at the same time they're maybe hitting their own men oh but hang on look at this yes the Swedish Knights are not done they are coming across they are coming across to try and take down the handgunners been driven away driven away yeah definitely they were probably getting a lot of friendly fire shots there but uh, yeah the Swedish Knights have dealt with them look at the blood everywhere what a sight and now the Polish are forming up their lines, getting into position. And, yeah. The French are going to go very defensive here. They're going to try and have any chance of bringing this back. Now the Pavai Spearmen of the Polish have come across. They're linking up together with the French halberdiers here. And uh, it's just chaotic. I don't know which one's which here. We've got Poles on Poles. Poles on French. So they just recharge these halberdiers the Polish knights here have. That's not going to be good. And now they're descending from the set from the north as well. These spearmen keeping very tight in formation. Very disciplined man. Oh, hello! Is that the Swedish knights? It is. It's going to the rear of the French king and the spear sergeants. Confidence morale is dropping by the second here. 
the Hungarians are losing ground. So no, I do apologise. The Polish are losing ground to the Hungarians. Both flanks caving in. That is then immediately taking it to the centre where the, the strain, the pressure for the French is too much. They can't deal with it. And look at these Swedish knights going around the back now. They're going to go and try and finish off these crossbowmen, are they? No, they're not. They're trying to break off to hit these crossbowmen over here. And they're just completely annihilating them. No chance they're going to survive this. And look at that. The Polish are storming the field. They've just literally broken up formation and are running through, running a mark. Oh, my God. This is all over, surely now. Surely, surely, surely the French are surrounded. The French king is fighting to the death. This is how you fight to the death. You know, take note, Lithuanian general. You do not flee the field. You fight with your men hand-to-hand -hand combat, and you'd never give up, no matter what the situation is. If you're surrounded, if you're winning, whatever, you will fight like a hero. And the French king is doing exactly that now. Look at this. The Swedish knights, again, getting some charged off. So many of these Swedish and Polish knights doing great work. I can't wait to see the statistics for their kills at the end of this battle. Halberdier is coming in. Some archer sergeants still getting some shots off. Oh, my God. How valiant they stand. How valiant they will fall. Where is the king? He's obviously being protected by his bodyguard as much as possible, but still not looking good the flanks over here have fallen we've got a few Polish left but it's not gonna be not gonna looking good here the Hungarians are pushing in now on what remains of the French the king is now fleeing he's also given in he's also trying to flee he's not being the heroes I thought he was gonna be look at this he's trying to get out of there he looks like he's gonna escape the field now Some flaming shots dropping well very quickly and as you can see here now, the combined forces of Hungary, Sweden and Poland is just been too much in the end. It's just been too much. It brings a tear to my eye, I tell you. A tear to my eye. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. The last few seconds, it's completely to zoom out. Look at that, being essentially enveloped in the end. The flanks caved in. The far right first off with the Lithuanians. That in, essentially then straight away put pressure f into the center. The left flank then fell as well. And then that was it. The French and what remained of the Polish were surrounded. And there's no way they could have uh, clawed victory back from that. So there you go. A valiant defeat for the uh, Lithuanians, etc. But still, it was a defeat in the end. Let's have a look at the replay statistics. So I want to look straight away at the Swedish and the, look at that. As I said, look at that. 303, 193, 244. That's just with one of them. Um, they weren't as good. Well, that unit was the general unit for the other Swedish army is 207. Give me some Polish statistics here. Give me some Polish statistics. 317, yeah. 317 for that one. 300, 324, 210. Definitely, definitely the cavalry making a massive difference on that battle there for the uh, forces uh, that were victorious. Uh, you know, look at that. Combined kills, you're looking at maybe 800 men. It's crazy stuff. Looking at the Lithuanians, they didn't have a good day, unfortunately. Dukolaxman, or Dukolaxman, how do you put up, put up, pronounce that? They did okay, 153. Apart from that, the armoured infantry did very poor. Footmen at arms, as you would expect, doing quite well. Always a strong unit on this mod. But still, surrounded at the end, it was no good. And the numbers just show that in the kills. 109, though, for that unit of uh, Polish knights. But yeah, the two flanks crumbling. The centre couldn't withstand it. And the enemy... As you can see in the statistics, obviously, obviously getting the better numbers there, better kills, and seeing victory through to the bitter end. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this epic clash of nations today. It is the start, as I said to you at the beginning, of different 
more varied content on the channel, not just going to be Warhammer going forward. So I hope you guys are, are happy with that. I'm sure you will be. Fresh content is always good for you to watch and enjoy. And if you did enjoy this one, please don't forget to drop it a like. And as I said to you early on as well, any replays you've got of 12, 12 AD, be sure to email them across to me. I can't wait to check them out. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. But until next time, this is Warrior Spotter for now saying... Farewell.